And then if you want to talk about like someone who is overlooked, um, just as a head coach, um, just what the season means for Nick Sariani. I know a lot of people just want to give the coach of the year to Brian Dayball, but I think that's disrespectful when we set a standard for the coach of the year being typically winning their division or being the best coach on the best team. And I feel like to take the Philadelphia Eagles, who were an absolute mess, they didn't know what they wanted to do with Carson Wentz. It seemed like there was a lot of friction between Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson. And then Doug Peterson got fired, so we're like, okay, that's interesting. They're keeping Carson Wentz after they drafted Jalen Hurts. And then they get rid of Carson Wentz as well. So everyone was really confused, and it seemed like the Eagles were just turning the page in an era after they won their first Super Bowl ever with Nick Foles, who they built a statue to, and then turning the page away from Doug Peterson, turning the page away from Carson Wentz, over to Jalen Hurts, and then his opening interview, people just think he's a bumbling idiot because he's talking about systems and then how they're easy to understand, and then he's talking about being a smart football team, and the first thing about being smart is knowing what to do, and then all of a sudden he came out with this dog mentality. Then all of a sudden people are crying in the locker room before their first game because he's showing them Rocky. And then people are like, what's going on with this guy? And then they turn it around at the end of last year, get blown out by the Bucks, and now... They're the number one seed in the NFC. Demolish the Giants, who a lot of people were giving a chance. And then now you're on to the 49ers. Just what this entire season means for Nick Sirianni. I feel like he's someone who needs to be talked about a lot more. And I feel like he's not getting the praise he deserves. So if no one else is going to do it, I will. I think that he definitely deserves to be in the conversation for Coach of the Year. I understand why Brian Dable is in the conversation. He definitely deserves a nod as well. I can say that confidently 2022 or 2022 2023 coach of the year probably the most contested race in probably the last decade i would say yeah it's really contested but yeah nick seriani the way he's turned things around i think people expected the eagles to be good especially after they traded for aj brown but did they expect them to go 15 and 1 with jalen hurts no i don't think anybody did and then he goes down the thing that i like about the eagles and why i have nick seriani above kyle shanahan is because I've never seen the Eagles this year come out flat. Mm. I've never seen them come out flat. You can argue the Commanders game, but I think the Commanders game, there was just division rival, kind of a fluky game. Yeah. But otherwise, and if you, and I include the, the, the uh, Gardner Minter days, but that doesn't count. That doesn't <laughs> count. Your team was banged up, but I have not seen a team that started with Jalen Hurts and has Nick Seriani as their coach. I have not seen them come out flat. I also haven't seen them let off the gas when they're leading. In fact, it seems like they excel the gas when they're winning. Yeah. Yeah, and they've been stopping people out. And then they take their foot off the gas a little bit. I feel like they had a problem where they would score a ton of points in the second quarter and then kind of cruise the rest of the game throughout the season. But that's just a nitpick. You got the number one seed in the NFC in the best division in football where every team was really good. So it's you rose above the Cowboys, who a lot of people has the favorites. We like the Eagles just because the A.J. Brown trade and because we have eyes because um, Mike McCarthy clearly isn't the coach. Nick Sirianni is. And then Kyle Shanahan in this game, back-to-back -back championship games in the NFC, also been to a Super Bowl. Um, just the perfect example of consistency and i think he's definitely like what andy reed was early in his career i feel like that's a good comp because andy reed always had his team contending had some clock management issues and then he got patrick mahomes andy reed never looked back from that point on and i feel like kyle shanahan he gets someone i don't know if it's brock purdy um it looks like it's brock purdy or another quarterback down the road but the future looks bright for both these teams, and it looks like there's no other team in the NFC that's really stepping up to be the next great contender. So I feel like the Eagles and the 49ers, hopefully this is the start of a growing rivalry 